tower, Jesus, my strength this hour, Jesus, you're my deliverer, yes, you are, Jesus. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us this day. Well, Let's go ahead and open up with our prayer and then jump right into God's message for today. Dear Heavenly Father, we can't go any further without first acknowledging that you are the one true living God. Father, we acknowledge your presence all around us. Father, we acknowledge your power over our lives, Father. Father, we acknowledge your darling son, Jesus, the mighty lamb of God. For we thank you for sending your darling son, Jesus. Father, right now, I ask that this vision, as this vision goes forth, Father, that it is used for your purpose and your purpose only for your people. Father, uh, we thank you for being Alpha and Omega, the beginning and ending of everything, Father. Father, right now, I ask that those that just might not know you. As they stumble across this video, Father, I ask that some kind of way, uh, maybe they can uh, uh, hear something that's coming from me or maybe some kind of way they are able to see something in this video, Father, that lets them know that you really are who you say you are, that you really are the one true living God, Father. Father, we love you. We adore you, Father. We thank you again for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus, our Savior. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I thank you again for uh, being able to join us this day, and um, I most definitely pray and hope as we move through this vision that you are able to receive a mighty word, um, a mighty message from God. Well, as I open, let me go ahead and open with how this particular message came about. Back um, in January, the beginning part of January, I began to truly pray about God's next, next message. Um, I came up with, um, went back to a couple of messages he gave me previously that did not come forth, and I asked him if he wanted me to share those, and there was complete silence. I then decided, well, maybe <laughs> I need to give him a couple of messages for me to give to you. Kind of crazy, but I, um, Thought, well, maybe I can share your miracles. There are miracles going all around right now in the world. And um, maybe I can share your miracles. And um, complete silence. So I kept praying throughout the month of January. I will not come forth um, without him most definitely giving me a message for you. And I, I must know that the message is from him. So I waited on him and I continuously prayed until one morning when I got up, I came across, he had me to um, look at the notes on my phone. And as I was looking at my notes, he took me straight to December 24th and back to December 22nd. Today, I'm going to share um, a message from him to you from December 22nd. Well, let me give you a little bit more information, background information on my visions. When I have visions, it's like my room is pitch black, and I can, but I can see past the darkness. Um, it's like I can see what is not considered reality in this world. Um, it's like my spirit is separating or has separated from my flesh in a sense. And I, I'm still in my bed and, and I'm able to see, but it, it, it just doesn't seem like reality, like I said, in this world. Well, sometimes when I have visions, depending on what it is, I disturb my husband. <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of times I just try to tell him, okay, do you see this? Do you see this right here? I'm looking at it right now. You can't see it. And he's like, no, I can't see anything. You know, I kind of wake him up. Well, one particular a vision that I had, um, I had gone to bed earlier before my husband and right at the moment when he was entering the room and getting ready to get into bed, I sat up in a, I just sat up all of a sudden. And when I looked to my left, I saw an angel. I saw the wings all on the angel. The wings were outlined, glowing white outlined. And my husband was standing right next or almost in front of the angel. So when I woke up and I looked to my left and I, and I saw the angel uh, and I saw my husband, <laughs> the first thing I said was freeze. And so he stopped, <laughs> you know, he's used to me, so he, he don't think I'm crazy anymore. <laughs> so he stopped, he just froze. And I was like, there's an angel behind you. And so he wouldn't move. I said, don't move, don't move. There's an angel behind you. So he kind of, and I scared him. I really did. And he was like, because I sat out up so quick and he knew I was asleep. So he kind of looked like, he was trying to look over his shoulder, but he was scared to move. I was like, the wings are right there. They are outlined. They're glowing. Oh, my God. Don't move. Don't move. And so he was afraid to move. And so once I finished telling him, I'm telling you guys in about three seconds, as I always say, the, the vision just went away. And so I kind of, okay, it's gone now. So I laid back down and I did not record anything at that moment. I laid back down. And so <laughs> I'm looking at my husband. He kind of like, like, can I move now? Can I get in the bed? And so that what that particular vision really made me act out. But guys, that vision has nothing on this vision I'm getting ready to share with you. I shared that particular vision with you to kind of let you know how my visions make me react in the middle of the night. So um, my husband thought that he was kind of used to my reaction to my visions until this particular night. Well, uh, this particular night, uh, I woke up and immediately when I woke up, guys, I saw Jesus standing at the foot of my bed. It was absolutely amazing. I could not believe what I saw. He was standing there and there were two to three people standing on each side of his shoulder. So I would say he had five people with him and they were standing shoulder to shoulder, just standing there. And when I saw him and I, I saw them, I, I just could not believe it. So let me fast forward to the next morning. So the next morning, then I'm going to go back. The next morning when um, uh, I spoke with my husband, immediately he said, let me tell you what you did last night. And I'm like, okay, I know. I told you about Jesus. That's what happened last night. He said, yeah, you told me about Jesus, but let me tell you what you did. Now this part, guys... I have, I cannot remember it. I, I remember trying to tell him about what happened, trying to wake him up and tell him, but that's all I remember. Well, um, he said that I woke him up by hitting him so hard. He said I hit him so hard until it scared him to wake up. Um, and I immediately said for him to repeat after me, say in the name of Jesus. And, uh, he said, he said, what? And when he said that, he said, I hit him again so hard. Say it in the name of Jesus. And he said, he's like, what? What are you doing? And he said, I hit him again. <laughs> Three times I hit him. So the third time he said, I said, say it, say it in the name of Jesus. And he said, I was looking, whatever I was looking at, he said, at this point, he knew it was serious. So he said, I started chanting in the name of Jesus. So he said, so I would hit him again. He started saying in the name of Jesus, in the name. He said, I said it about eight times. He said, so he kept repeating after me until finally 
he was able to like, okay, I don't have to say it anymore. And he said that I didn't hit him anymore. He was like, so finally I come down and uh, he said, I ended up going back to sleep after I tried to tell him what I was watching, what I was looking at. Well, at this point, uh, let me go back now. So what I saw in the vision was Jesus and, like I said, he had two to three people standing on uh, each side of him. And what I remember was he, he started trying to, uh, not trying, he communicated something to me. And at this point, I knew he was communicating something to me. He wasn't saying it out loud, but he was giving it to me. And I, I, I was so caught up in that he was actually standing in my room and uh, trying to tell my husband that Jesus is standing right there. He's in my room. He's in my room until I just, I, I could not remember what he said, what he was communicating to me. I'm like, but you were telling me something. He gave me something that was all in my spirit and for someone I guess like I said I was so caught up I couldn't remember what but one of the things that my husband said that um, I was telling him was that Jesus face was in the middle of a spinning wheel it was in the middle of a wheel he kept saying you kept saying Jesus face is in the middle of a wheel so some kind of way it went from Jesus standing there communicating something to me. They were just looking at me. And I guess I was just in awe and it, with his presence. I, I, my spirit was like all over the place. I don't know. But um, uh, I went from Jesus standing there to a vision of his face in the middle of a wheel. So... <sighs> After coming downstairs the next morning, I prayed and prayed and prayed about what he communicated to me. Um, I thanked him for allowing me to see his spirit, but I continued to pray about what it was. It was like when I was praying to him, whatever he communicated to me was right here, but I couldn't, it, I could not remember exactly what it was and so I just continued to pray about it throughout that day I was so disturbed because it was something that he shared and I could not remember it at the time so um, the next day I continued to pray and um, finally two nights later on the 24th of December he gave me a dream that was absolutely amazing um and i'm going to share that with you on a um uh, another video on my next video for some unknown reason well i know why he he wants me to split the two up and um finally after praying over the last few weeks before i uh, made this video about this video and about what he wanted me to share with you about that particular vision um he wants me to reach those um, without a doubt that don't know who he is. He wants me to reach those that truly don't believe that he really is who he say he is. That he really is our savior. So that particular night when he came to visit me. And I couldn't remember what it was that he was saying to me. He let me know that. One of the things that he was he needs for me to share with you is that he really is Jesus. He really is everything the Bible shares with us that he is. He really is our Savior. Um, just as sure as we know that um, we're waking up the next morning, or, or shall I say, as sure as we know we're walking to our house, that this is a house, um, is how sure we need to be that he is Jesus. He is the Son of God. He is the only way to God. He wants me to share with you that the only way that you can enter heaven the only way that you can see God is through him that God really did give him to us that he gave him to us so that we may have life 
thereafter. He stood there before me so that I can share with you that he really does exist and that his power, that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His power um, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So on this day, I pray that you know or that you believe that Jehovah is the one true living God, that his son is the Savior, Jesus, or some may know him by Yeshua HaMashiach, uh, the Savior of the world. Let me share with you a couple of scriptures he gave me as I prayed over the last few weeks about this particular video. Go with me first to John 14, 6. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He wanted me to share this with you. Guys, I don't know no other way to let you know that if you don't believe that Jesus uh, is the one true savior of the world, that Jesus is the son of, of God, I, I don't know no other way to share with you that you cannot enter heaven without believing this. He also wants me to share with you John 14, 25 and 26. It says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. The scripture goes on to say, do you believe in me? Do you believe in Jesus, the Savior of the world? I pray that this video touches someone, blesses someone, I pray that you find it in your heart to share it. I pray that there is something in this video that brings someone to Christ. I pray that it's something that you hear or that you see in this video that brings you to Christ, that brings you to Jesus. Until next time, be blessed.